Good morning, child of God. It is time for us to meditate on the Holy Word of God. Every day we bring you some scripture here on Seize the Day on the Catholic Channel. Also do it on my YouTube channel, and I post that to Facebook each day as well. So if you know some folks maybe who don't subscribe to Sirius XM, well, ask them to do that first. Uh, but barring that, they can go to my YouTube channel, subscribe there, and get the daily readings and a little reflection. Now, my 60-second reflection at GusLloyd.com today is entitled, covenant thinking. And it has to do with our first reading, a very important first reading from Genesis chapter 17, verses 3 through 9. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, you are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram, your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages." The word of the Lord from Genesis 17, our first reading in today's Mass. All right, two things about this reading. Number one, we see a name change. This is very unusual, only happens a few times in Scripture, where Abram has his name changed to Abraham. And this idea of covenant, that word pops up numerous times in this reading. And my reflection today is called covenant thinking, because so oftentimes today, we think in terms of contract. Now, that's uh, kind of normal, I guess, especially in the capitalistic society in which we live. But a contract is way different than a covenant. A contract is an exchange of remuneration for goods or services. We've all signed contracts, right? If you've had a rent or a mortgage or a car or whatever, you know, you give me this and I'll give you that. And it's an unfortunate thing that oftentimes our marriages are like that. We think that in uh, that way in terms of marriage, which is not a contract. It is a covenant and in our relationship with God. In other words, it becomes very transactional, right? You do this for me, I'll do this for you, or I'll give this to you. And that's not what a covenant is. A covenant, different than a contract, is a total giving of persons. I give myself to you, you give yourself to me. That's what marriage is. It is a covenant, not a contract, right? And we have to stop thinking in this kind of way. The same thing with our relationship with God. So oftentimes we think about God in a transactional kind of way. Hey, Lord, if you do this for me, then I'll do this for you. You know, if you heal my child or you do something for me, then I'll start going to church or I'll read scripture. Or I'll start praying, whatever the case might be. No, no, no. It's a total giving a person. Listen, listen to the covenant. I will be your God and you will be my people. In other words, I will give myself completely and totally to you and you give yourself completely and totally to me. You want to know what that looks like? Take a look at a crucifix. That's a total self-giving. Amen. That's covenant. Our responsorial for today from Psalm 105 and the response, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. And the response again, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. From Psalm 105, today's responsorial in the Mass. And our gospel passage is from John chapter 8, verses 51 through 59. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, 
Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord from John chapter 8, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. You know, a couple of days ago we were talking about the scandal of I am, and we see that again today as Jesus reveals that not only was he around in the days of Abraham, but he created Abraham, right? Let's start our day with a prayer, shall we? Father, we come before you this morning in a spirit of love and thanksgiving for your word in our heart. Lord, we pray that you will give us covenant minds that will stop thinking in contractual terms about our marriages and especially about our relationship with you. We give ourselves wholly to you, Lord God, today as you have given yourself wholly to us through Jesus Christ, your Son, in whose mighty name we pray, amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so honored to have you here. And if you find use in these readings and reflections every day, I hope you'll share it with a friend, subscribe on the YouTube channel, and have them do the same. So until next time, peace and good. Bye-bye for now.